Now joining us via Skype to discuss this further is political expert Omar Ismail. Now we've just heard some of the agreements struck between Russia and Egypt. How significant are these deals in regards to relations between both countries? It is indeed significant. Uh, the significance of, uh, of these de deals and also the visit itself uh, has a uh, huge ramification for both countries. Uh, as we know, Russia now is uh, suffering from the drop in, uh, of uh, oil revenue, as well as the boycott by the West and European Union, America as well. Uh, so the Russians are looking for um, an opening for new markets. I wouldn't say that the Egyptian market is a new one, uh, but it is uh, worth developing uh, an, an, an strong, stronger uh, economic relationship between two countries. Uh, the, visit, the visit itself also has a significance uh, because of the uh, economic uh, conference that, that will be held uh, in, in, in Sharm el-Sheikh soon. And I think uh, that uh, the commitment of the Russian to the Egyptian uh, economy will be seen as a positive uh, forward step. Now, how do you expect the U.S. to regard the strength you know, of relations between Russia and Egypt? I think really uh, over the past two years, particularly after the, uh, after the incoming of uh, Sisi as a president, uh, the relation has cooled off a little bit. Um, and I, I think the Egyptians have invested over the last 30 years huge, uh, um, uh, hugely in the uh, hope, that, hugely in America, in the hope that uh, uh, the first, firstly, that the issue of Palestine is going to be resolved. It hasn't. It's actually worse, got worse under the uh, the American different American administrations. Uh, the fact that the American now seem to be um, playing on two on two sides, and not 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 quite clear what the result of the visit that uh, some of the leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is a banned organization in Egypt. Um, their visit to the uh, White House recently. Uh, I think that it, it raises a number of question marks on the commitment of Obama's administration uh, to, uh, to the Middle East uh, being a, a free area of terrorism. Uh, and it raises questions in, in the mind of the Egyptian, particularly uh, in the American commitment in, in their uh, armament and also in their help to confront uh, uh, terrorism. And Omar, why do you think it is that we're seeing this warming of relations now between Russia and Egypt? Sorry, I missed that bit. Why do you think it is now that we're seeing this warming of relations between Russia and Egypt? I, I think Egypt probably on the next, uh, within the next 10 years will probably want to see uh, um, a foreign policy which is akin to uh, Nasser's days where the uh, both uh, camps are being uh, in equal distance um, uh, as far as the Egyptian pol policy, uh, foreign policy is concerned. There are huge, uh, there are huge uh, uh, um, a role for the Russian to play with the mid in, within the Middle East, and particularly with the um, Syrian problems. Uh, the, the Russian have the technology, have the ability to help the uh, Egyptian, uh, Egyptian economy to grow, which is very much needed. Um, and it is a new market for the Egyptian also, well, new with a, some qualification. It is just being re redeveloping the, the market again. Uh, uh, we know the 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, Russia was uh, the main ally uh, to the Egyptian, and he's just going back, uh, the, the Egyptian policy, policy maker, I think, are looking for a balanced approach to all camps. Omar Insmail, political expert, thank you very much for joining us today.